The buffer of reason rack extension effect is actually designed to be played from a MIDI keyboard. And one way to help you get a better feel for using your keyboard with buffer is to mark the triggers using a bit of board tape. You can find the time division list in the buffer operation manual, and obviously this makes things a lot easier to hit the trigger that you want to play. Here we have a track loaded, and I'm going to add buffer on the insert effects sub rack. We'll right click and navigate to the creative effects sub menu, and then select buffer beat repeater. And then now let's add a MIDI sequence track. We'll right click on the buffer rack ear, and then select create track for buffer one. Keyboard messages are routed through the sequencer track to buffer. And when notes are pressed, you can see the visual display responding to the different triggers. We set the mode knob to position three. This is the current playback mode, which is most common for beat repeating effects. And now we're ready to start chopping things up. And if you're not quite getting the feel, try switching off the triplets button then you will be limited to playing only even time divisions like quarter, eighth, or sixteenth notes. And when you're ready to get a little more intricate, switch triplets back on.